In last episode, I promised you that in this episode, we are going to do Ajax file upload, actually Ajax image upload for our forums. Uh, just remember that for this to work, you need to have installed October CMS build 420 uh, and PHP 7, MySQL 5.6 and above and so on. So please check out the previous episode if you don't have this build of October installed on your system. But if you do, then let's just get to it and create Ajax image upload. So many episodes ago, we created this add an actor form. So be sure to check out the, that episode if you wanna follow along, or you can just uh, get your, the code from GitHub and everything will be set up for you. So uh, what we can do right here, and actor, choose a file, open it up, save it, the actor is added, and now if I go right here to actors, I have this N actor added and it has an image, uh, it has a name and last name and that's it. So one thing you will notice above this, uh, about this form is that it's not an Ajax form. It will reload the page and spit out this message. So first of all, let's just Ajaxify this form. This is actually a component that we made. So we are going to go to plugins, watch, learn, movies, and uh, now we have these components and we have actor form. Uh, this is the HTML for it. So this is our form and we have actor form PHP. So this is our controller for that form. Okay, so what we need to do right now is I'm just going to delete all of this and we are searching for a method or function called on save. Uh, I'm not going to call it on save, I'm going to call it on submit. So in my actor form.php and in the default.hm, uh, we are going to make a data request. It's going to be called on submit. And then we are going to have uh, data request files and data request flash. And that's it. Now we have this form uh, ajaxified. Actually, this form may actually work. I'm just going to remove this message right here. Uh, save this. And I just want to delete this return redirect back uh, from our function because we don't want to re uh, redirect anywhere. We're just going to save this. And now if I go to our form and do AAA, BBB, and actually choose a file. So Leonardo, save actor. It says the actor is added. If we go right here and refresh this page, we get AAA BBB and you get this actor's image, you get the name and last name and the image upload works via Ajax. Of course, probably this is not what you were, were expecting. So this form is Ajaxified and actually the image upload works, uh, but we wanna add some more functionality to it. So what I wanna do right now is I wanna uh, choose a file, but when I choose a file, I want to see the preview of that file right here. So this is going to get much better feedback for the user of this form to the user of this form. And uh, that is actually what we are going to be doing this whole episode. So we are going to create a preview of this actor image. As you can see, uh, the actual upload of the file works via Ajax right now. So before we begin, I just wanna uh, add some more functionality to this form in the form of validation. I'm just going to copy it in because we already did this. I think the video is called Ajax form validation. So we're just making a validator. We are getting all the inputs and we are going to check the name and the last name of uh, 
of our forms and if everything is okay so if it's required then we are going to add an actor to our database otherwise we are going to throw an exception so if the validator fails we are going to uh, throw an exception and as you will see this won't work uh, out of the box actually it will but we just have to do one more thing so we save the actor and now we get this class validation exception is not found so I'm just going to copy this and use it at the beginning of the file save it and now if I save the actor we should get the name field is required we fill out the name field uh, we save the actor the last name field is required so we fill that up and save the actor and now the actor is added everything works okay so now we have validation for our form okay next thing we need to do so <clears throat> we want to uh, show the preview of uh, that actual form so how do we do that actually not form but preview of an image so how do we do that well first of all we have to do something to this input field so this input field is type of file and the name is actor image i'm just going to set it to accept images And then just like we did for this form right here, I'm just going to copy all of this and add it to our form. So we are going to do a data request, but not on submit, but on image upload. Uh, by the way, uh, these data requests uh, are named however you want. So I'm just calling it image upload, but you can call it on upload, on image, on whatever. So on image upload, this uh, explains what is going on really good. So this kind of name. And now we are requesting files and flash. Now uh, we save this. And what we need to do, we need to now go to our, actually no, uh, we need to, provide the space whether that image is going to be placed when we preview it so i'm just going to create a div right here and give it an id of uh, image result okay so image result it can be empty i'm going to add two br tags right here So no image to preview right now. And now we are going to create our function uh, that is going to trigger once we choose a file. And then we are going to put that image right inside this div. As you will see, it's actually pretty easy, but it only works on October build 420. So remember that. Okay, save this. And now we are going to create our function. So our function is called on image upload. Okay, and now we have to get uh, the that request. So to get that request, we are just going to get uh, set input all. So image is equal to input all. And now uh, we have to, okay, so it should be image. And now we have to uh, save that file somewhere so that we can preview it. So the file is equal to new file. That is coming from our post request. And from the image, we are getting the actor form, actually actor image field. And that should actually be it. Now we have this file and now we just have to display it in our uh, image result div with uh, in the div with the ID of image result. To do that, we just return. And now we are going to return some HTML with PHP in it. So uh, 
and we are actually uh, getting the thumbnail of that file which is going to be 200 by 200 and also we are going to enable the crop mode so that uh, the image is going to be squared okay and uh, then we just concatenate this and I actually hope this is written correctly uh, we don't need this semicolon right here and since we are using a file right here uh, you should uh, have this use system models file at the uh, beginning of, of your file uh, because otherwise you are going to get an error and actually I think this is it let's just try it out so I'm just going to refresh the page and choose a file open it up and now we get that image right here now remember uh, this form isn't saved actually this actor still isn't saved and if I do something like AAA CCC save actor now the actor is saved and if we check it out right here so now we have AAA CCC we got an image we got the name the last name and so on also when you're adding though adding uh, those images you can uh, maybe choose a file uh, you by mistake choose the image of Leonardo DiCaprio but if you want to change it then you just choose the file of Scarlett, uh, Scarlett Johansson and it's automatically going to change right here save that actor and now if we go to actors okay so here it is scar joe now you should see it is this image right here the name the last name and that's it so this is the way you would uh, do ajax image upload and also do ajax image previews on your front end forms okay so this has been it for this video remember everything we did here will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below if you want to ask me questions you can do that via facebook twitter youtube github uh, my site and uh, Please like this video if you liked it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you like the content I put out. Also, if you want to send some money my way, you can use the Patreon page for that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.